yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Oh, man. I That's good. We are back out of Manitowoc, Wisconsin again today in search of some king salmon. Obviously, you guys know they've been getting some decent sized kings out here. I want to catch a few of those big four year olds, those big heavy kings Lake Michigan has been producing this year. So that's the goal today. Hopefully, we can make that happen. Uh, we're trolling north right now. I don't know how long I'm going to stay on this heading. We got like a northeast wind today at like five miles an hour, so it's a little bumpy out here. It's not too bad. It's definitely doable, but trolling into the waves definitely sucks. If you guys have been enjoying the salmon fishing content that I've been posting, definitely go down. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're going to be posting a lot more salmon content hopefully this summer. And as we roll into fall here, the walleye content is going to come back. And then obviously ice fishing too as well. So if you're into any of that, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all of the videos that I'm going to be posting here on this channel. Before we get today started too as well, I just want to mention I got some merchandise. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of that to help my channel out, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can go find some of this stuff. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and sit down. We're going to play the waiting game now. We got everything set up, running a total of six lines today. We got two dipsies, a pump handle, a lead core rod, and two downriggers. I am with my good buddy Mikey, and we're going to see what we can make happen. The sun is not up quite yet, but it's just a gorgeous day to be back out on Lake Michigan. Let's get it. A few moments later. Oh, there's a dipsy. Dipsy. Fish on. Doesn't feel like a tank, but going a little while here without a bite. Missed that bite earlier on the other gypsy. Now we got this one hooked up. Hopefully we can get him in the boat. I bet you it's gonna be a rainbow. What do you think? Rainbow? It's a lot of head shaking going on. Could be a small king, maybe. On the flasher fly. Ready? Oh, it might be. I don't know. It's hard to tell this with the glare, sun glare. Stay away from that. What is it? Baby king? Little baby king? That's not that little, I guess. Yeah, definitely a good eater. First fish of the morning. Nice little king. Not the size we're looking for yet, but these little kings sure do make great table fare if you're looking to eat some fish. Um, these are the ones that are definitely gonna be better eating than those bigger ones. But once again, we are looking for those bigger fish. We're out deep right, well, I shouldn't say we were out deep. We're out deeper than we had been the last week or two here. We're out in about 90 feet of water when we caught this guy. Um, we're moving in shallower. We're gonna run in there, see if we can find some of them bigger four-year-olds. Like I said though, uh, we did miss that bite already this morning on the dipsy on the other side of the boat and then all of a sudden this one went about an hour later so nice first fish it's a good start we didn't get skunked which is phenomenal we got a nice king for the box awesome way to start the morning let's go ahead and get this guy put in the live well keep fishing and search for that big king right, so this is something that i used to play around with a lot this is a it's called a go fish cam it's basically an inline camera that you run right in on your fishing line basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw a couple of these on the dipsy rods perfect looks like we're recording well this thing's ready to go we're going to send this thing down and see what we can capture like i said i'm not sure um you know what kind of footage we'll get but it, it'll be super cool if we can get a, a big salmon rainbow even a trout just coming up to this thing and eating that flash of fly so let's see what kind of footage footage we can get with this this will be fun Oh, 
that's a bigger. How's it feel? Feels decent. Maybe another smaller king? Yeah. Medium size, smaller king. Well, I really hope that goldfish cam is still recording. It's going crazy. Because we got uh, we got footage of this one, so if we got footage of that fish hitting, you're definitely seeing it right now. It's probably gonna look really sick too. That was 120 back. I'm gonna reel down to it and then just walk back. Yeah, go all the way to the front. We should be able to get her. Look at him go. He's he is everywhere. It is a king, smaller king. Yep. Good. Back up. Ooh, he is everywhere. Oh, just missed. Got him. Whew. Threaded the needle on the downrigger in the cable. <laughs> Almost kissing twins to that other king that we just put in the box. Not the, again, not the one we're looking for, but we had that GoFish camera down on this one. Hopefully it's still recording. I haven't checked it yet, but if it is, we got some awesome footage of this king hitting that bait. Super, super cool. Like I said, not a giant, but it's just fun to be catching fish. Seeing him hit the bait is even better. So I'm really excited to watch that. Hopefully we got some good footage of that. Awesome fish. We'll go ahead and get him in the live well. Heck yeah two hours later. The last couple of weeks, flash or fly combos have basically dominated. If you don't have any of these, I would definitely stock up on a few of them. Obviously, there's all sorts of different kind of flashers that you can purchase. We got salmon candy flashers, we got Mr. Derrick's flashers, um, all sorts of different colors. You can get chrome backs, you can get green paddles, you can get white paddles. Anything blue, chrome, or white has been really good up and down the lake shore, paired with aqua colored flies. When you're pairing these flashers with a fly, um, it's always good to make sure that you're using the same amount of line between the flasher and the fly on all of your stuff. Not that you have a 24 inch lead on one of your flashers and then maybe a 32 inch lead on another flasher. You want everything to be the same. That way if one flasher is doing good, all of your flashers should be doing good. All of my flasher fly combos are the exact same just like this and this is exactly what we're running down to catch the kings that we are targeting today. So if you don't have any flash or fly combos, I highly suggest getting into them. Um, they can be deadly for some of these fish out here and they can be a lot of fun too as well. 20 minutes later. This one's digging. This one's digging. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Oh man, I just brought this one off too. I had this thing down deep, brought it up to 40 and it got smoked. Probably not even like 10 minutes after bringing it up and it got smoked. Here he is up at the surface. I don't think it's gonna be a tank, but it's gonna be a bigger one. Biggest one of the morning so far. Saw that, I saw that downrigger just start going like this. I'm like, oh yeah, there's a fish there. Picked it up, sure enough, it just takes off. Gonna be a nice big old king. Saw the shark fin at the surface. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Whew. Getting closer, Mike. Good yeah, it's not a bad one. Not an absolute tank, but a good fish. Got him? Yeah. Heck yeah, that's a good one. What'd you say, probably, oh yeah, probably a good like 50. 12 15 pounder probably He's got some weight that's a good one give me some on the mr derrick's Swiss snail wiggler i think it's called it's kind of like a, a blue chrome flash on there mr derrick's flashers have been doing really good for me this year so if you guys want to check them out 
I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can head on over to his website, purchase some of these. I've got a whole bunch of his flashers and they've been doing me really well this year. So honestly, this flasher paired with this salmon candy fly has caught me a lot of fish this year and actually took the first king of the season down in Milwaukee too, if you guys saw that video and just put another dandy in the boat. Look at that. That is a good king right there. Once again, probably pushing that 12 pound mark. Just a gorgeous looking king. We're still looking for those bigger ones yet. Just another awesome fish. Super fun to fight these guys, especially in a downrigger rod. It's basically just you and the fish the entire time. There's no dipsies, no boards, nothing to worry about that's in your way. Just you and the fish. It's always fun watching those downriggers get smoked. That's another nice king to add to the box. We're gonna get that one put in the live well, get this snail wiggler back down there and hopefully put the hurting on some more king salmon baby a few moments later oh yeah yeah there's some fish in there three king salmon out of lake michigan today not a bad day obviously the wind kind of died down got flat calm out here it got really nice but with flat calm days like this come really bad flies too there's flies all over the place made it hard to talk, eat, all sorts of stuff. They're crawling all over you all the time. We are gonna call it a day. It is currently about 12.30 and we're gonna head back in, clean some fish up. We missed the fish right away this morning when we were setting up, then we caught those two smaller kings and then kind of ended it on that big one. So not a bad day. Wish we would have got a little bigger of a king, but we'll take what we can get any day we come out of Manitowoc and are able to catch fish. So water temperatures are kind of fluctuating. We had anywhere from 54 all the way up to 60 degrees today. So surface temps are really starting to warm up. Um, the wind that we got the last couple of days is definitely blowing it around. Things are gonna change here in the next couple of days, but the bite, the fish, they should stick around. I don't really see them moving too much with the rest of the month of July and then into August before they start to stage outside of the marinas to go into the river. We got a lot of time left to get out here and catch some more fish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely go down, leave some comments down below. Let me know how you guys are liking these salmon fishing videos. And as always, if you are new here, please go down hit that subscribe button down below. We're gonna have a lot more fun content like this in the future. Other than that, we're gonna go clean some fish. Thank you guys again. As always, keep living your dream and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.